Hey everyone, in this video, let's take a look at Refusion AI. In order to do so, here we are at Refusion.com. And if you're unfamiliar with Refusion, it is, like other platforms, a place where you can generate your own music. So let's go ahead and get started with Refusion. Let's uh, try logging in first. We'll go ahead and log in. We can log in with Google. So we'll go ahead and do that. And once we're logged in, let's uh, explore what Refusion has to offer. So we just have to agree here, generate unlimited music during the early beta. So right now they are in beta, which means that you can generate unlimited music, upload your own audio, find your sound, publish your favorites. We'll go ahead and continue. And uh, well, let's see here. Okay, we'll just say, Go with that that is available okay so fuzz point eight is here we launched three days ago so it's about time for a new model fuzz point eight is the new default experiment with more natural sound mixes and diversity might not sing the right words every time but it will sing them in a more interesting way personalized generations publish your favorites share in our discord let's go okay so here we have some staff picks some creations that other people have made let's try creating a song so let's go ahead and create the music you imagine here we can turn this into an instrumental if we want let's try just something simple a love song and let's go ahead and try this in spanish because we want to see here how well refusion does with different languages so let's go ahead and hit generate and Refusion is now hard at work generating some songs. The other thing we want to do is upload uh, an, uh, an example here. See how Refusion deals with uh, our ad us ad adding our own vocals to it. Uh, we'll just let that go. So you can see here, this is taking a little bit longer than something like Suno, for example. Suno is usually pretty quick with the generations, but it's not taking too long. I see based on the uh, amount here, this is going to take uh, under a minute, two minutes here or so. We're already almost done. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and click on our profile. And so we should see our songs there in a moment. Let's check out Personalize. Refusion learns to generate music with your unique aesthetic over time. Every riff you create, every song you listen to, every artist you follow helps teach our model what you love. As you level up in your creative journey, you'll unlock personalized modes of creation and find your home in the latest space of sound. So that's quite interesting. Now it says here, apply personalization becomes available at debut level. So we got to play with Diffusion or Refusion a little bit before we get to that point uh so it looks like it's going to take us a thousand points until we get to the debut and it's going to keep track of how often we use the platform scroll down here so we have to complete these actions to reach debut create your first song listen to a song create 50 songs three day streak share three invites extend a song create a cover publish a song, create a playlist, favorite 20 songs. So just there, that kind of gives you an idea of what Refusion is capable of. And there are a variety of levels here that we can take advantage of. Debut, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Mythic. So that's kind of neat. It uh, is going to uh, reward us essentially the more that we use the platform. And I do think that's a very interesting option here to personalize. Um, it gets to know what you're interested in depending on how often you use it. So that's pretty neat. So here we have playlists and looks like we've got our plus sign there. So if we want to create a playlist, we can do that. And playlists, one thing I found with Suno is that it's a good idea, or with Suno, I think it's called a workspace, but essentially with the playlist, this is a good way of, um, if you have multiple songs that fit together, then it's a good idea to put them in your playlist, especially if you're extending songs, then that might be a good way to categorize everything. We can invite our friends, Docs. Let's see what Docs is all about. So this is interesting. Get started with Refusion 
by following the user guides. Okay, refuse and docs. Okay, so this is basically our FAQ. And uh, if we want more information on how Refusion works, we can do that. Let's check out our profile options here at the bottom. So we have our light dark model. We have different models we can use. I think eight is the most recent one. Moderate lyrics. So if we want only clean lyrics, we can toggle that on there. So that's pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and go to our library. And yes, it looks as though we do have our song in Spanish. So that does give us some indication there that Refusion is capable of doing different languages. Let's go ahead and take a listen. So that's really quite nice. Uh, let's go ahead and listen to the end here because I want to hear how the song ends. Okay, so we had right there at the end a nice finish and it looks like the song's here about three minutes long. So that's really quite nice. I mean, we had that sort of nice little finish there at the end and uh, let's just click on our three dots here. So we can remix and with the remix, we can do a cover, we can extend, we can replace and we can use prompt. So that's interesting that we have those options there. Edit details, privacy, add to playlist, download an M4A, get stems. So this is quite nice for with uh, just basically the free version here, we have the option to get stems. This is something that's not necessarily available without a subscription on different platforms. So the fact that you can get the stems and for anybody who's not familiar with that, essentially that means that you can separate the bulk, the vocals from the instrumental. So if you like the song, but you're a singer and you want to sing your own uh, vocals on top of that, that's a really nice thing, a, a nice way that you can kind of like get the karaoke instrumental, so to speak. So that's really quite awesome. Um, let's try adding a an upload. Okay, so here, confirm. And let's see. So we can upload here. Here we can add our lyrics. Let's try a prompt. Okay, so that's what that's doing. All right, we can add our lyrics if we want. If we want to turn this into an instrumental, we can. We can use the ghostwriter function. So let's see here. Um, well, you know, this is uh, quite similar to what you would expect in Suno with the writer, but let's just say, uh, write me a short commercial about soap right for me so the ghostwriter is going to work there now we'll just let that work describe the sound or vibe so if we just here we have our different uh, uh, styles that we can choose from there's a random sound prompt here so we can just click that okay there we go so that just randomized for us all right now we have our lyrics and uh that's really quite nice so far this is quite a bit like Suno, um, you know, but it's really nice and clean. Suno is a bit cluttered, you might say, but this is really nice and clean the way that it's all laid out. So that's really quite nice. Let's try advanced options here. And here we can add a sound. Let's do that real quick. Okay. So if we have a specific sound that we want to add, then we can say here, oh, we want some violin or we want this or that. Can, how many times can you do that? 
Okay, it seems like you can only do it once, but let's try it here. Let's say, nope, you can do that multiple times. So all you have to do is make sure that you type that in and then you can keep on clicking this and specify exactly what it is that you want to use. So that's really quite powerful. Let's go ahead and click on upload here, upload audio to cover, extend or replace. Okay, so that's going to allow us to upload our audio. Now, one of the things that we can tell here already, it seems as though it doesn't give you the option to actually record your voice. So what you're going to need to do if you want to record your voice is you're going to have to do that separately. You can use something like Audacity would be a good option. It's free. Uh, Cakewalk is out there as well, BandLab. And, uh, but this is one of the differences between, uh, here and, uh, uh, something like Suno. Now, another thing that I'm curious about is whether or not this is going to, let's find out. Let's just see. I've got a song that we can try. That's about four minutes long. And I'm just curious if that's going to allow us to upload that because Suno only gives us a, uh, a limit of two minutes. So analyzing file and it's thinking about it. So we'll just give that a moment to do its magic. Okay. So that finished for us and that did upload the entire song. So that's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, because Suno only allows you two minutes. Uh, let's just click here. So we have three different options. We can uh, do a cover, we can extend, we can replace. And the other thing too, is it actually put in the, the, um, the lyrics for the song as well. So that's really quite nice. It actually analyzed the song and put in the lyrics for us. So that's quite interesting. Um, let's try this here variation, adjust how different the cover is from the original. So we can modify that. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this has some really interesting potential so far. I would say that I am quite impressed with what refusion has to offer. I'm going to go ahead and have to spend some time with that upload audio because I'm curious to see exactly how that's going to handle adding vocals and, uh, and then generating something from that. But I would say that just to get started refusion so far, I'm impressed. And the nice thing is it's free. So if you're looking for a music generator that's free, go check out refusion.com. And uh, we'll just go ahead and leave it at that. I'm going to continue to play around with this and um, we'll have more videos on the way. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.